Hi guys, I've been receiving a lot of messages and comments uh, asking me how I manage my time and how I get so much work done. So I thought I'll just create a video about it. Now, uh, if, you've, if you're into stock investing, then they, they ask you to uh, find out where the, where, the, where the guy who's giving you advice, where is he actually investing, right? If he has uh, money where his mouth is. That means don't ask him where he's investing or where should I invest, but actually see his portfolio and see where he's investing. So, so that way you get to know where, what he's actually doing or is he actually even implementing what he's uh, you know telling you, right? So that's why what I want to do is I want to take you behind the scenes and show you the calendar, my actual calendar on, on how I manage my time instead of just giving you some theory and some uh, you know uh, knowledge on how to actually manage your time, all right? Uh, also, I don't have time to make those day in the life kind of videos where I have to act out my entire day. That is bullshit. You don't have time to watch that. I don't have time to make it right. We're all engineers. We're busy people. So I thought I'll just show you the entire calendar on how I've been, to, uh, you know, managing my uh, stuff so that you, you get to learn actual, uh, actual lessons, right? No BS. All right. So the first rule of uh, productivity you can say is to put everything on the calendar. Now you have tasks, you must have task lists, but take out actual time slice on your calendar and put the task there on your calendar. All right. That's the only way to get anything done because if you don't have time marked out for that particular task, there's uh, it's, it becomes very difficult to actually accomplish anything. All right. Uh, secondly is to um, have a different color coding, right? So I have different color coding just to uh, give me like more, um, uh, it, it just makes it easy, easy to read. It just makes it more readable. And also I come to know that, okay, now the, n another task is starting, another different task is starting. So I can see that there's a difference between the tasks that are starting. Otherwise I, I might miss it on the calendar if, if all of them are in the same uh, color coding, right? And, um, and there's another third rule about context grouping. So I'll tell you about it, but I'll, I'll take you through the whole calendar and then you'll understand automatically. Now, one thing that you'll notice here is that most, most of my calendar is, uh, you know, either half an hour slot slots or one hour slots. All right. Um, that's because I can, the, the least that I can go to is half an hour slots. If, if it becomes lesser than that, I start having like a lot of, uh, what do you call it? Uh, I get overwhelmed sometimes, but I've heard that Elon Musk uh, work, works in five minute time slots. So he's so busy that he has to work in like five minute uh, time slots, right? So um, I'm obviously like 10, 15 years, uh, you know, away from even getting close to where he is, but half an hour time slots is all I can do right now. All right. So let me take you through the calendar and then let me explain to you what's, what's context grouping. So the first thing that I do is I wake up at 6 a.m. every morning. Now today is the 24th and this is my uh, calendar for the, the Tuesday, the 26th. All right. So this is real stuff. Um, so 6 a.m. I wake up, 6.30 I meditate a little bit so that I just kind of, you know, orient, orient myself uh, to, to the day. I work out at 7, uh, between 7 and 8 a.m. so that I have some, uh, you know, uh, what do you call it, blood flowing and I get some more energy to, you know, attack the day. 8 to 9 a.m. Uh, I create, edit and upload a YouTube video just like this, all right? Uh, now the reason I work out in the morning and I create and upload a video usually in the morning is because, um, these are difficult tasks for me, right? I, I get bored doing these tasks. So I try to do it in the morning. So eat the frog first. If you've re read this book, I, if you haven't re read this book, I highly recommend it. It's called Eat the Frog by Brian Tracy. So it basically, you have to attack the most difficult tasks in the beginning, all right? Then 9 a.m., I plan, I start planning for the day and I also have breakfast. So both at the same time or uh, half an hour planning for the day, half an hour breakfast, whatever, man, 9 to 10 a.m., that's what I'm doing, all right? And by planning for the day, I mean, you know, just going through my calendar and kind of aligning my mind. Or if I haven't, I haven't replied to any mails, I'll just reply. Though I don't get a lot of mails. Uh, my tasks are around, uh, you know, Slack and WhatsApp and Flock and sometimes even Discord. But I don't use a lot of email. So whatever it is, I just try to, uh, you know, uh, align myself. Basically, that's what planning for the day is. <sighs> then 10, uh, 10 a.m., uh, to 10 30 and 10 30 to 11 i have these two important calls which are my team uh stand-up calls so uh, as you know we i have a service company called multi and uh, between uh, under those there are two tech product companies right uh, there i won't call them companies to two tech products and i'm the cto for those tech products one is called dominate ai one is called remote teams.io so uh, these are so dominate.ai is um is developed it's out in the market and we have to do a lot of devops related activities here with remote teams it's still um, in beta so a lot of testing is going on so i have these stand-up calls where i kind of uh, you know have to uh, we, i take status with the team and what's happening so those kind of things all right and then we plan uh, the next step forward and where are we lacking what's the backlog those kind of things 
uh, you get the picture i'm sure you know what a stand up call is and between 11 to 1 pm i have to do a lot of uh, coding tasks which are dependent on me so let's say if we are building a new scheduling mechanism uh, for dominate or we are building a new workflow engine for remote teams whatever it is i'll be building uh, so i'm also uh, one of the developers uh, in the team all right i'm not a ceo i don't sit like this with my feet on the on the tables <laughs> just giving orders i i do the lot of i do a lot of heavy lifting right a lot of complicated tasks like let's say uh, i don't know jenkins pipeline setup or something like that those are the kind of tasks that will eventually come to me and i'll have to do them all right so uh, so there's one small tip uh, in here is that yeah uh, if you're uh, a cto um, you know always stay hands on don't become the guy who just gives orders all right always stay hands on with coding uh, so 1 pm is when uh, i do a lot of uh, code reviews and checks and improvements with the team so if you think uh, if you're actually noticing right now these two are of the same context right these two calls so i've kind of grouped them together same context like stand up calls these two like 11 am to 1 pm and this 1 pm one they're also same context because i'm looking at code so it doesn't take a lot of co context switching for me all right and then i have a call with my designer uh, at 1:30 pm usually and uh, why the designer specifically is because a lot of the features that we have planned already uh they first go to the designer uh, we design them and then we take it to the users if they like it only then we develop it right so we don't start developing any features before we have gone, gone through the whole uh, validation testing that Eric Rai proposes in uh, the book lean startup all right so that's why i have a call with the designer just to see what what the users are saying if we <coughs> if we want to upgrade some features of or if we don't if we want to delete uh, delete in the sense if we don't want to build those features all right from the design we want to delete them So that's the kind of call I have, and then 2 p.m. Uh, I usually have lunch with the podcast. Right? By podcast, I mean not specifically Spotify, but like a YouTube video with just audio, right? So I I keep listening to something, and then I keep having my lunch. So 1 p.m. So it's a one-hour break, which is a long time for lunch, but uh, I also kind of relax and you know chill out, watch watch a video or something. So this is that one hour, right? Then 3 p.m. I have a stand-up call uh, for a client project. So Adhir is a is a client we're working with. It's an Australian client, and uh, we're building a um, health uh, tech platform for them. So we have a stand-up call with them with their whole team. Uh, it's it's a half an hour call. Sometimes it goes for longer, but I uh, you know end my call at 3:30 and I you know jump onto the next call, which is with Honda North America, which is the second client that's going on right now. And that, then that's when I have the half half an hour call. And here also you'll see that there's the the context is the same, right? So two stand up calls I've kind of uh, like grouped them together. Then I I'm on uh, as you might know I'm on the interview panel for a few companies. So for a company right now I'm doing a head of technology interview. So that and then there's an architect technology architect and cloud architect interview that I'm doing for another company. Um, so that's at 4:30. So I am on the interview panel of these companies because uh, when a company let's say becomes big, uh, they don't have the right resources to, uh, and they're starting a new division for technology. They don't have the right people to interview the people who will be working there as heads of those divisions. So so that's why they take help of people like me. We help uh, you know uh, interviewing in the last round of the technical interview. So this is what I'm uh, doing here basically. Okay. So. 4 p.m. head of technology interview 4:30 p.m. the uh, technology architect interview for two different companies so again you'll see that these two tasks are also grouped together right context so this this is a different context this is a different context this is a different context right like right and then 5 to 6 p.m. i do a lot of planning analysis and checks on client projects so these two client projects for example are going on right now so i'll do i'll take the team on the call who's working on these client projects right our developers i'll do planning with them analysis i'll uh, we'll check on the client projects what's happening wh what is to be done are we lacking in something so those kind of things right so it takes uh, an hour usually for both of these projects or there could be many more right <coughs> then 6 pm uh, i have a call with cp uh, it's it's a uh, partner firm carbon paper uh, so we don't have any sales people in our team uh, we just have developers and engineers and the sales is taken care of with the help of a partner company called carbon paper so they help us with selling or taking products like dominate to the market right i don't have any selling expertise so i i don't you know pretend that i have a lot of selling expertise or i can build sales teams i don't do that so i have uh, i have partnered up with a company called uh, carbon paper so they uh, do all the uh, you know selling taking it to the taking it to the market they have a complete sales team they do all of that all right similarly we have another partner called st so both of these are in different uh, you know regions so cp uh, specializes in us and st specializes in uh, pacific uh, asia pacific all right and then uh, 7 to 8 pm i write content and articles 
all right for uh, the blogs like for the, for the remote teams blogs or the for the dominate blog i'll write articles usually <coughs> since i know the most about the products how they have been built so that's why i am the best person to actually write content for them then 8 to 9 pm i um, now even if you become a ceo of a company you don't stop learning right you have to just learn more and more advanced things so there's something that i'm now interested in it's called deep neural evolution so this is the new uh, you know uh, much like after machine learning you have deep learning you have reinforcement learning deep deep reinforcement learning and now that's deep uh, neural evolution so i'm kind of interested in that i'm learning that these days i have bought a course also on udemy i read a lot of articles about it so i'm this is what i'm doing right now this is what i'm learning so one hour goes here every every night then i have dinner for half an hour and then i read for half an hour or it can extend to like one hour uh, depends on you know when i uh, start like when i start to feel sleepy that's when i'll just doze off so it could be anywhere from 30 minutes to one and a half hours i read and this will be usually like a business book right business related book uh, like right now i'm reading this book called product led growth uh, a few days back i was reading blitz scaling by reed hoffman and uh, before that i was reading uh, work rules uh, it's a it's a book for by google people on how you know the culture in google works so these are the kind of uh, books i usually keep reading business books at night so this is my whole calendar i hope this gives you a good view so three rules right everything has to be on the calendar uh, use context uh, use colors uh, context color um, coding and use context grouping all right these three things they will help you make your calendar really really awesome and you'll be able to get a lot of tasks done in just one day all right and also work out every day that's the fourth rule all right so work out every day so that you have a lot of energy and fi fifth is eat clean food if you can uh, like don't eat spicy or uh, fried food uh, that will basically help you you know focus better on your tasks so i hope you learned something in this video and do subscribe to the channel if you like this video so that you get get to know such awesome content and thank you for watching and i'll see you in the next video